Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Teardown. Today, we're going to be continuing working on the brand new free expansion, Art Vandals, but not before I destroy Daddy's home. Speaking of Daddy, I think he sent me a message. What did he want? Uh, could you help me out with putting the first coat of paint on the crown zagat? The, cr the crown zagat? In the garage. All right, is, is this the car you want painted? Am I actually supposed to do this? Wait, this isn't even the garage. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I forgot there's a garage down below. Okay, I think this is the car that he wanted painted. Sorry about painting the other car. <laughs> well, of all things, I didn't expect to be painting a car and tear down today. I th what, what happened to the art heisting in this? I haven't stole... Actually, I did steal a little bit of art in the last episode. But why am I painting my dad's car right now? All right, I guess that's done. I mean, there's still a little bit of red, but all good. I promised to help Enid with that art contest she's going up against Kirsten in all six categories. This is a mess at the mall that needs my attention. Otherwise, I'd do this myself, but now I need your help misplacing some of Kirsten's paintings to even out the odds. Ah, oh, what a great criminal family I, I live with. Okay, so I guess we're stealing paintings. <laughs> All right, here we go. Finally, I get to go into the massive museum. So is everything around here? Because in the last episode, we focused on this area. And yes, indeed, this area is where everything is going to be. Uh, so first and foremost, I want to explore this place, see if we can move any of this art. There's a fire alarm and wired alarm boxes once again. I was just looking at this. Is this part of... What is this? That's not connected to anything. So if I shoot these, does that set off the alarm? What is this about? I don't even know what this is. All right, well, this is going to be interesting. So it is actually suspended over water. The whole thing? I don't know if, like, we could maybe drop everything into the water and grab it really quickly. There's a lot of ways we could obviously do this. I did notice that there's heavy objects, too. Uh, so that's going to be fun to deal with. All right, so here is the art now. I wonder... I doubt it's going to proc the alarm if I drop this yeah so we can still move this uh it's just as long as you don't break the red cords so i'm thinking i always like to throw things on the outside but it might not be smart this time because the majority of this stuff is on the inside so this one's kind of in on its own though this is the weirdest place i've ever seen why are the office or is that a cubicle i don't even is, is this an art piece or is this literally an office it seems a little dangerous oh god one of my things is actually on this great so it's a chair. Why Why is this a piece of art? It's a chair. All right, I don't think I want to go in the water. I was thinking that might be the way, but is there any boats? Oh God, I got to go out in the water. I have four blue tides, so we can utilize those to run around. What is this? All right, I'm curious. So I saved just to see. So yeah, that will unfortunately uh, start the timer. I wonder if I can grab this and move it. Is this swivel? Yes, it does. Okay, so I've swiveled it over there. Oh, it goes back, though. It bounces back. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is grab a plank. Actually, I'll just use a cable. I don't use enough cables. I'm so used to using planks in this game because cables didn't exist when I played a lot of this game. But yeah, we should be able to hold the cable. Let's get back up here. Unfortunately, the cable's too short. Oh, God. So I might have to build a plank. I wonder, is the plank longer than the cable? Hold on. Let's just try the plank real quick. Ah, oh, the plank's a little too short, too. All right, so I'm gonna have to build some sort of structure to pull it over. Actually, you know what? I wonder. Is there a crane? That's what I need. Okay, I think I got a really good idea. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of strategizing at the start here. I, I might go back and forth, but I did see that we have boats and a crane. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. All right, come here, little wooden rocket boat. We should make good use out of you. Oh, God, that... What? Oh, okay. It breaks. All right, try it at the frame, maybe? Oh, God. Oh, please don't flip. Please don't flip. I just want a boat over here because it can basically be a movable platform, and it should come in handy. Oh, I hope that hole in the back doesn't sink the boat, though. I just saw that. Let's just make sure. Nice and straight. And drop. Perfecto. All right, we'll definitely use this crane somewhere, too. Uh, but yeah, this will allow me to get around. I'm wondering if I can drop any of the low ones kind of near the water and I can just grab them with the boat. Oh, I just realized, God damn it, this is heavy. So does that mean I have to drag it? Yeah, I need to... Oh my God, that's ridiculous. I need to bring the heavy targets to my car. 
The car is over on the other side of this. So obviously using a boat wouldn't be great. If I could load this into a truck really quickly though, that might be the way to do it. So are all yellows heavy? No. So we have just this one that's heavy, I think. Oh, and then the optional one. Oh, sorry. This is the optional one that's suspended over the pool. But then, yeah, this one right here is also heavy. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be so hard. I can't just simply drop this one into a truck because we're in the freaking water. This is this is definitely going to be one of the most difficult missions. Uh, I did not realize that was heavy. So the heavy ones I definitely want to address first. Uh, we have two options. Obviously taking the boat over here and then unloading them, I guess, via crane. You got to remember, I got 60 seconds to do all this, though. I don't think that's the way. I am seeing that we have a nice long straight straight away here. It's tight, but if I could load this up and then go through this wall here, I think I saw, if, if this is at the right area, let me just open this up real quick. There's this nice incline on the roof. Yes. Uh, then I can jump down through the shrubs and land over there. Where the hell is this one? What the frick? Oh my God, a basement? Okay, I should be able to pull this up, right? There's no way I want to stay in the basement. I wonder... Hold on. I wonder if this... Nope. Nope. Okay, so there's no way out of here. All right, well, at least I can put it on ground. Uh, this is kind of out in the middle of nowhere, though. But I'm going to need to get this one, so... I still haven't planned out my route. I'm just trying to figure out the big ones. Okay, this heart is bigger than I thought, too. Fantastic. So we'll get... Oh, God. I'll just move this out of the way for a second. For a heavy object, I can sure move this thing around quickly. If I don't have it attached tightly, it's just going to destroy this whole place. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is safe, right? This is totally safe. All right. And if this works first try, it's going to blow my mind. Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. That's what I figured would happen. But that, I mean, that's good. I could obviously slow down a bit, figure out the best way to do that. But it stays on its wheels. And then we just need to bring it in here. Done. So we'll worry more about this later. On paper, it works, so I'm happy with that. We just got to work on the landing possibly a little bit. That is good. We got to figure out a way to get up there, though. We obviously don't want to start here, or do we? Like, I don't know. What I want to do is start from one side and work my way back, because if I have to walk back and forth, I'm going to waste too much time. So I need to get all these done at the same time. So either starting from the left or right makes the most sense. And I still have no idea how I'm going to deal with this one. I mean... The only thing I can really do is either have a crane ready over there, put it on this boat and drive it over, or have some sort of crane vehicle here to drag it, because I don't think I'm going to be able to put it on a vehicle. I mean, maybe. Hold on. Let's see if we can uh, break this thing down without alarming anything. So I'm just going to get this out of the way, because it might actually be able to just go in the water. That sinks, doesn't it? Uh, maybe that's why I needed the boat. <laughs> Wait, I can probably just grab it. Okay, I didn't think about this. So I should be able to put it over here, actually. Oh, yes. I knew I got this boat for some reason. Okay, so I was I was going to bring my crane over, but the boat will work. Oh, God, this is heavy. All right, there we go. Put that right there for a second. I have an SUV here. You guys know how much I like my SUVs in this game. They just got really good acceleration. So what I'm thinking, I just also broke down this little spider. He was on the roof. I think I might start here. Uh, then I can grab both of these, beeline it all the way over to the exit, and then work my way back. Because I'm going to have to run twice anyways because we got these two vehicles. So if I can work my way back, maybe I can bring this out here. I don't know. I haven't looked at this one yet. Uh, I need to go get this, grab this, and this. And then I can end off with the jump with the car. And that's all of them. So yeah, essentially, if I could wrap around and get everything done and then end off with the car that we set up and then exit there, that would be probably a pretty good run, I think. I'm not backtracking too much at all. All right, so good news. I'm playing around with the uh, chair. I was able to get it out of the water. And I mean, it's got a really long cord on it. So I can go up. I believe this is pretty much the same level. It's seven meters above now. So if we build some sort of... Oh, man. I'm going to have to build a plank bridge up to the top of this. The hard part is going to be getting across this gap. I should be able to jump, though, because it's at the bottom floor, isn't it? No, it is at this top floor. I mean, maybe if I blue tide, I can do a long jump. I could build a bridge, too. 
All right, so let's just try something as simple as this. We're going to put this on the ground over here. And then we can just ride up this, up this, grab that. I'm going to get rid of that. Then we can get up there. Okay, that's a good start. But yeah, then we can get up here. Now, this is going to be fun. Obviously, I don't want to go all the way down and wrap back around. That's going to waste so many seconds. I need to design something to get from here over to there. And I don't know how the hell I'm going to do that. All right, I might be on to something. I was able to connect to the camera. And now I can at least try and grab from here and see where this will go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is ghetto as hell. But this is all I freaking needed. Okay. <laughs> Look at my bridge. It's so sad, but it works, man. And it works actually really good. I'll be nice and fast up that. Okay, that, that was hard. <laughs> that was so hard. The fun part's gonna be the um, the claim points behind this thing. So I gotta kind of go around it, but then we're gonna have to get up here. And this is what I really haven't addressed yet. Uh, I might have to build another bridge. Let me actually just test something. Blue tide makes me jump really, really far. So if I blue tide right around here, grab that. Can I make it? Oh yeah, to wow. Okay, don't don't need a bridge. Might not have even needed a bridge for the other area. All right, all I need now is a car over here just to get quickly down to the next part of the map. I uh, don't think I want this car. A little too slow, possibly. There's lots of cars around this map, so we'll get something better. The monster truck seemed like the only logical answer. All right, so we'll park it right around here. We're definitely gonna have to fine tune this, but I, this is all set up, I think. I think we're, we're ready to see if our first run goes well. Very nervous. This is definitely one of the more difficult heists that's been in this game. Uh, just the two heavy things are gonna make this really, really fun. I don't know when I'm gonna blue tide or anything, but let's just do a test run here and see what happens. All right, so blue tide, go over to this. Yoinky yoink. Around, we might get rid of those trees. That's what I was worried about. It's gonna be very top heavy. Uh, again, this is just a test, so I'm not too worried. Jeez, maybe I should use the monster truck over there. Put that in there. That did not deliver. What the hell? Why is this not delivering? Okay, so it has to be right on top. Great. And we also have to worry about getting this out of the way. All right, let's try again. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying that this is the wrong way. <laughs> Get me out of here. Oh, I just want to see if this next part works. So I'm just going to accept defeat. We're going to go nice and slow and jump. I mean, this works when I can hit the jump right. I hate that lag there. I don't know why it's lagging so much. Don't want to hit my ramp. Okay, got out a little too late there. Yeah, really laggy on this side of the map. I'm not really sure why. And did that. Missed that thing, but that's okay. Uh, this is actually going really well. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Okay, okay. I still have 12 seconds left. Did I actually get them all? Holy crap! I'm gonna do this so fast. All right, so I decided to uh, take out the forest here only because uh, it was actually... It seems like it's a little more bumpy over here. This flat ground's nice, but after I go to this incline, it really screws me up, so... I thought going straight would be better. This ground's actually flatter than I thought, and it should keep us nice and stable. We do have a hard turn to do after this, though. That's the only downside, so we might change this again, but I mean, I think it's safe to say we're, we, we are going to do fine with this run. I didn't expect it to be so great. It's just going to take a few tries because this thing is a little wobbly. I also added more planks, so it's not as top-heavy, ah, but still very top-heavy. <laughs> All right, this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. Go nice and slow. There we go. Get that out of the way. Go. Please tell me I can get this. This is the hard part with the freaking lag. Oh, why am I... Why do I gotta be so close to that one? Well, just call me the bridge master. Uh, I was sick of dealing with this jump because it really is the point that screws me up the most. So I got this nice little landing pad here and then I can really jump whenever I want. The hard part about doing that jump is I have no runway. If you don't have any runway, jumping in this game is really hard. So why not use a boat bridge? All right, there's many ways I could shave off more seconds in this run. Really, it isn't a good design. I thought I'd have to fine tune it a lot more to get the 60 seconds. But if I could do this in like 50 seconds, I would be super happy. The only truly hard part is this. Please, yes! Okay, okay, this is good, this is good. That wasn't perfect, but whatever. 41, this is really good. Okay, come on. And up, thank God the leg is gone. A little bit of slow there, but that's okay. Please. Please. 
26 seconds left. This is a really good run. Slow down, slow down. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. I think I'm going to take this. I mean, you get the idea. I can definitely do this a little bit better. Are you serious? No! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Oh, now I got to do it again. Like, <laughs> got to get that thing out of the way. But I definitely can do this in 40. If I spent a million hours doing this. At this point, I just want it done. Because honestly, it's getting a little frustrating. Okay, 41 again. Good. A little bit slower, but that's okay. Unfortunately, I have that SUV still in the way over there. But again, I'm not going for perfection anymore. I have been defeated. Come on. This is the hard part. This takes a bit of randomness. And nailed it. Okay, good enough for me. So yeah, definitely could do a little bit better. Are you serious? Okay, I thought I couldn't get to it. I'm happy with that with 11 seconds left. Again, if I tried to do it perfect... I could probably do that in honestly 40 seconds, and that feels pretty damn good considering how hard that job was. That was really, really fun. All right, and I think on that, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed another heist. I have missed the heisting in this game. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think we have more to do, so that is definitely not the end of this new campaign. So, uh, yeah. Be on the lookout in the near future for some more speed runs. I hope you guys are enjoying this a little bit of uh, something different from the modding that I usually do. And yeah, I'm just having a blast trying to do these as fast as possible. Thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.